feeling that something isn't right. You know, you look at the world around us, you look at the people in it, it's like, do people really get it? Do they understand? Dow Jones Industrial Average just hit 26,000. It is at an all-time high. Interest rates are pretty much still at zero. Bonds are in a massive bubble. We've seen the stimulus come from 2008-09, these trillions of dollars worth of bailouts, and everything's gone straight up vertical. Like they're even talking that the government may in fact shut itself down this Friday. Is this real? Or is it an illusion? You know, if the mainstream media is to be believed, they'll tell you that Bitcoin has just crashed, that it's a bubble. Yet they won't tell you about the other bubbles, like $20 trillion worth of debt that the United States federal government has accumulated as a result of mismanagement and trillion dollar bailouts. Of course, if you believe the mainstream media, you would have never touched Bitcoin in 2013 and you never would have seen the kinds of returns that you've read about on the news. In fact, if you would have taken $100 and bet on Bitcoin 2013 or earlier, you'd have over $100 million today. So here's the question. Has Bitcoin just crashed? Is it a bubble? Is it the end of the world like the mainstream media says? Or is there something else going on here? You see, I actually think this is the greatest opportunity of a lifetime. And you've just been given a gift. You know, it's kind of like looking at a piece of real estate. You looked at it yesterday. It's this lovely home. It's got a great lot. It's a great property, but you just can't afford it. Maybe it's 300,000 bucks and you, you can't afford the mortgage. Now all of a sudden, it's at a fire sale, 50% off. That same house that you love, that you want to move in with your family and raise your kids is now 150 grand. And it's the same piece of property. Imagine if you would have bought tech stocks after the crash of 2001. Companies like Amazon, Google, Facebook, Tesla, Microsoft. These companies are some of the biggest companies on planet Earth today. Jeff Bezos spends most of his time flying off in rockets. He's now the wealthiest man on planet Earth. You know, in 2008-09, I made one of my best investments of really my life up until Bitcoin. I bought Apple stock under $100 when nobody else wanted to touch it. Because again, they told you it was the end of the world. Right? That's what George W. Bush said. We are in the midst of a serious financial crisis, and the federal government is responding with decisive action. Unless we bailed out the banks, J.P. Morgan Chase, Jamie Dimon, there would be martial law in the streets of America. Now that same mainstream media is saying, don't touch Bitcoin. It's a bubble. It's a fraud. And now it's crashed. Funny thing is, if you look at the historical track record, nothing's changed. In fact, Bitcoin has had multiple retracements of 50% or greater, sometimes 80% all along its long-term curve. In fact, if you would have just bet on Bitcoin 12 months ago, even still with this 50% retracement, you would have made nearly a 1,000% return on your money. You know, the most common thing I've heard recently is we've been teaching our course, the first ever world-class Bitcoin Crypto Academy. Click the link below and join us today. Knowledge is power. The most common question, objection that I'll get, people will say, Christopher, I just feel like I've, I've missed out. I mean, these returns are so massive. We, we saw an all-time high in Bitcoin of up to 20,000 bucks. I mean, this is just incredible. I feel like I missed it. And I've been screaming at the top of my lungs for days, weeks, months now, really years, telling people, guys, this is just the second inning. And now Bitcoin is selling at a fire sale price. We lay this all out in our course. This was the first topic of the video that we put out. We have over five hours worth of content, 12 videos now in distribution for our members, our students. Now that same opportunity that you thought, well, that you missed, is being presented to you on a silver platter. Bitcoin trading around 10,000 bucks, roughly. 
But, but, but Christopher, it could go lower. I mean, look at this volatility. Absolutely, of course it could go lower. In fact, I think Bitcoin could go as low as five, 6,000 bucks. Could go even lower than that. It could go to zero. Again, I'm not giving you financial advice. I'm not your financial advisor. I'm a big believer in education. But just like Bitcoin could go to zero, so could U.S. stocks, so could bonds, so could real estate. In fact, they pretty much all did in 2008 and 2009. <laughs> Right? That's why they needed the bailouts. So what are we looking at now? Do you trust the mainstream media? Do you believe what they're saying? Because in my humble opinion, this is the greatest opportunity that we have ever had. Cryptocurrency and blockchain is changing the world. How we all live and work. There are new ICOs being minted every single day. This is a multi-hundred billion dollar market capitalization. This is a new asset class. It is like the equivalent, as Peter Thiel, one of the smartest men in the world will tell you, the equivalent of digital gold. Don't underestimate it. In fact, his firm, his venture capital firm, is heavily invested in Bitcoin. The Winklevoss twins are now newly minted billionaires as a result of their smart investment in Bitcoin and then around 2013. This is the future. It's gonna change the entire world. I mean, look, most jobs won't even exist in two years time. It's gonna cut out middlemen and middle women everywhere. Let's say you're a real estate agent, or you're a mortgage broker, you're a title agent, you're, you're doing anything for that matter. Maybe you're a financial advisor. Watching this video right now, your job's not going to exist in two years. Remember what they said about social media? It was never gonna last, right? You couldn't make any money in that. Just like Warren Buffett told you to your face not to touch Amazon stock with a 10-foot pole or Google because it was an algorithm and he didn't understand it. Now look at it today. Google, one of the largest companies on planet Earth. Amazon, one of the largest companies on planet Earth. In fact, they're so big, Warren Buffett missed out on the opportunity of a lifetime that now Amazon just bought Whole Foods, and they're considering buying Target. And they're also blasting off in rocket ships. They told Elon Musk Tesla would fail. How dare he try to compete with GM and all these other car companies, this, these oligopolies. Now look at them today. He's dominating the electric car and really the car market altogether. And he's also competing with Jeff Bezos, blasting off in, in rockets on a daily basis. This is Internet 3.0. Arguably, arguably, it might be Internet 4.0. This is bigger than social media and the Internet combined. They call it the Internet of Things. I break this all down in our course. Not just Bitcoin, but the thousands of other cryptocurrency investments that exist today. The Internet of Things, where a light bulb will be able to monetize itself with micropayments at zero cost. Again, this will eliminate the middleman and the middlewoman across the globe. Although that might be scary to some, it will also create massive opportunities for those that get it. I have friends, for example, not only did they start investing in Bitcoin in 2013, it made them multimillionaires, they just started a company out of Austin, Texas, which securitizes Bitcoin so that you can use it without selling it to buy a house. People are buying supercars with Bitcoin. You can buy a Tesla with Bitcoin. You can check out at overstock.com with Bitcoin, but Christopher, it's not real. It's just an algorithm. Yeah, just like Google, just like Amazon. CNBC just put a report out. By the way, there's a ticker of Bitcoin. It's right up at the top next to the US dollar. Now on CNBC, you see blockchain is going nowhere, but they'll say, you know, Christopher, it's not real. What is it backed by? Well, the US dollar is actually backed by nothing. There's no difference between a $100 bill and a $1 bill. It's not even worth the paper that it's printed on. We were taken off the gold standard by Richard Nixon in 1971. So essentially, the dollar is just a belief system. But what happens when that belief system erodes? Like what we see in Venezuela, or we see in these other countries that are struggling. Where does that money flow? What happens when this giant stock market bubble collapses overnight like 2008 and 2009 all over again? Where will the money turn? My humble opinion, it'll look for non-correlated assets like Bitcoin. 
Bitcoin has limited supply. You can only mint 21 million Bitcoins. It is backed by proof of work, an algorithm, cryptography, and it also has a utility. But Christopher, they'll say, this is like tulip mania. Yeah, what are you going to do with a tulip? Put it on your shirt? Bitcoin has real utility. I pay people all the time all over the world. Graphic designers, web designers, programmers, and I send them Bitcoin and Ethereum. And I do it with limited fees, and it happens like that. I don't have to go to a bank, make a wire transfer, spend $25 each way, and then wait seven days for it to transfer to Thailand. You see, it has an actual real utility. And all the smart money is heavily invested. In fact, Wall Street is accumulating Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies at a rapid rate, especially at these new fire sale prices. You know, it's interesting how people think, how the masses think. They all move the same direction at the same time. They buy high and sell low, when now is actually the time to get involved. In fact, you should be more aggressive now than you've ever been. 50% discount, still up near 1,000% over the last 12 months. And notice how it's non-correlated to the U.S. stock market, because it's like gold, in my opinion. This is a currency revolution, and it is bigger than money. Trillions of dollars are flowing into blockchain tech right now, and the opportunities are endless. In the future, you'll pick up your phone, you'll have a diversified wallet of not just cryptocurrencies, but also fiat. And by the click of a button, you can make purchases and transfer money around the world with no cost instantly. We go over all these opportunities in my course, and I identify which of these ICOs you should pay attention to, which of these altcoins have a valid use case, and which don't. You know, I wish there was a course I could have taken because it took me 10 years of study to really understand the power of this new tech, how it would change the world entirely and create something that we've just never seen before. This is a new industrial revolution. And for those of you that get it, will be massively successful. Don't pay attention to the naysayers. I know so many people that tell me today, Christopher, I wish I would have listened to you. I knew Bitcoin was going to be big. But now it's trading at 20000 and well, I just can't afford it. By the way, it's divisible. You don't have to invest 20000 or whatever price it is. You can invest pennies into Bitcoin. You can start with as little as $20 a month. A lot of people don't know that. Well, now it's trading at a 50% discount. And the opportunity has presented itself once again. Just like Amazon, you could have bought on the cheap in 2001. Apple, you could have bought below 100 bucks. I actually did. It was my best performing investment of my life up until Bitcoin. You could have bought all these companies. You know, I sold the Google IPO when I was working for Merrill Lynch as a broker, and most people slammed the door in my face. They said, I, I don't understand this algorithm thing, Christopher. Google, a, a search tool, an advertising algorithm doesn't make any sense. This is the future. Here's my offer. Click the link below right now. Learn about cryptocurrency, and blockchain technology. This opportunity, don't let it escape you. This is going to happen quick. This is going to move fast. In my opinion, Bitcoin and these other cryptocurrencies could see massive returns in the not-too-distant future. At $10,000 per Bitcoin, we could have 5x returns just this year. Now, of course, there's no guarantees, and I'm not giving financial advice. But this is the equivalent of that opportunity that you missed in 08 and 09. Again, buy when there's blood on the streets. In 2001, when the stock market cratered and all these tech stocks lost a lot of their value, we're living through it again. A lot of people are afraid to take risk. But you know what the biggest risk is? Inaction. Most people are armchair critics. They're scared, but I'm here to tell you, there's nothing to be scared about. Learn, educate yourself. Join our amazing community of students 
today. Do not hesitate. Do not wait. Get involved. Let me be your coach. Let me be your mentor. Let me help you make 2018 your best year ever. Click the link below right now. Join us. We have very limited seating left. I'm going to keep this very small. I'm working on with, with all this course material with you guys one-on-one. -on -one, so I want to keep it that way. We're going to be raising pricing soon. Do not let this opportunity slip past you. God bless. I'm Christopher Green. You're watching AMTV, alternative media television, hard-hitting and in your face. This is the future. Be a part of it. And let's kick some ass.